got a live stream today, um, it didn't work. So um, what I'm going to do is I'll go through um, in this video what we were going to do on the live stream, um, which was to make a paracord bracelet. So um, a paracord bracelet looks like this, guys, and um, you can get the buckles with the um, compasses and the uh, fire lighters and whistles on them. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to this one here on this paracord bracelet, which has got a compass, a fire lighter and a, a whistle. Um, so the link for that will be in the description. Um, they come in all sorts of colours, red, green, glow in the dark and uh, this orange one. Um, yeah. So um, what we're gonna do what you'll need is you'll need a buckle and um, you'll need some paracord. You'll also need um, towards the end um, a pair of scissors and a lighter um, to help you finish it off. Um, so what you need to do is you need to get um, the length of paracord um, you'll need um, a foot for every inch that your wrist is. So if you've got a seven inch wrist, then you'll need seven feet of paracord. Because um, the uh, the pattern we're going to do today is um, it'll take up a foot for every inch. So yeah, so you'll need about seven, eight feet of paracord if you've got a seven inch wrist uh, and so on and so forth. Right, so what you need to do first of all is get your buckle and unclip it like so. Um, take one end. And then from the bottom of the clip to where it would be touching your wrist, you want to come up through the bottom here, like so, with both ends, pull them right through. Mine seems to be all twisted here. Um, just give me a sec, I'll just pull, pull that back out and do it again. Let's try and put it in straight this time. Right, so we go in from the bottom, like so. Comes near the bottom there, pull, and then once we've done that, you want to grab both ends, put them through this loop that we've made here, so like that, and then pull that tight, so that that then will give us this knot here, okay, like that. So it'll look like that guys, okay, once we've done that. And then we want to take our other end, we want to clip it back on, like so. We want to come round, and we want to, want to come round like this, guys. Like that. And then we want to go in through the top on this one guys, okay. So we need this one. On this side, and this one, and this side, guys. So that comes in through the top there. And then what we want to do is we want to pull it through, and then we want to put it on our wrist there. And then we we want to like measure it to our wrist to make sure to see where we need to go. So there's there's um, fine for me. Um, you want to keep a bit of a gap so that you know, when you've done it, cause it's a bit thicker. When it's done and when it's, what it is now, so you want to keep a bit of a gap. So unclip it again, and we'll, we'll lay it down here so that it's easier for you guys to see. Let me get move that one out of the way. Um, uh, and then, right, so now we've got our, thing, our first one we're going to do. We're going to take one side, it doesn't matter, either side, bring it over. Uh, but we want to bring it over, but we want this end, once we brought it over the middle, we want, we want to take the other end, bring it over this one that we've just brought over, and then under the middle, and through this loop here. Okay guys, so like that, and then we want to pull that tight there, then you want to hold that clip, so that you don't mess your measurements up. That you've done it and pull both ends really really tight so that it's nice and tight guys because the tighter we get it the neater it looks and the, the more cord we can fit into a shorter distance as well so now what I want to do is I want to take the other side so um, this side now over this way and then I want to come over again under and then through there guys through the loop and pull that one tight so we keep pulling tight as we go up our bracelet and you can see 
already the pattern starting to form so we go again this side now we go we go over around the back of the middle bit and up through the gap there up through that loop and we pull guys nice and tight you don't want to now we've got past our first bit we can pull it up a bit so we can fit more in yeah and then now this side again so you go just just one more time to recap we go over the middle with this side and then we take the other side guys which goes over the side we've just put over the middle round the back of the middle and then back up through the hoop, the loop we've made on this side okay guys and we pull it tight and then what you do is you keep doing that until we get all the way down to here down to the bottom yeah which um i'll um, i'll do two more and then I'll, I'll i'll skip to the finish of mine and i'll show you how to end it okay guys so round the back up through there guys we're doing it one more time we make our come across here over this way under the middle and then through the loop there guys and then we pull it nice and tight and like i say then you keep going down until you get to the end and i'll, I'll come back in a second when i've done mine and i'll show you how to finish it off guys okay guys so to finish off we need to um i'll just show you the last two again so one this comes over like this this one comes over that one goes underneath the middle bit and then through that loop there okay guys and then the same again so that comes over this one comes over that one goes underneath the middle and through the loop guys okay so now then to finish now see i have a gap here now you can go all the way to the buckle if you want to um i mean th this one has I've done, I've done all the way to the buckle on both sides on this one right but this one um i for some reason have like a lot of cord here and only a bit here um so obviously i've either not quite got it in the middle or um i've not quite measured it right because i'm running out of cord and i've got only this much left right so um you can leave it like that it gives you a little bit more um flexibility with it um and that or you can go right to the end but when we get to the end we need to take our pair of scissors and we need to carefully cut as close as we can to our bracelet not too close though um as co close as we can to the bracelet we need to cut off guys both of the ends And then, guys, um, some of the old scalps um, probably uh, be able to do this by themselves if they're very, very careful. But I do recommend that you all um, get parents to give you a hand with this. Um, what you want to do is you want to melt both ends of your paracord. So, this one first. Uh, don't touch this paracord, guys, when it's um, just after you've took the lighter away from it because it gets really, really hot and it will stick to your skin. So what you want to do is you want to leave it a few seconds and then you want to try and make it flat against the other bits of power cord, okay? If you leave it for a few seconds, it cools down and then that will make it cool enough for you to flatten it out and sort of stick it to the rest of the power cord, guys. So that holds it in place. And then you've got your finished power cord bracelet, guys. Um, there we go. So that's what we were going to do today in our live stream unfortunately um i couldn't get it working and um, it didn't seem to want to play ball today um but um i won't be posting a live video next week um, on tuesday because um we'd normally be off on easter holidays anyway this week and next week so um next week i'm gonna have a week off um, and hopefully after the easter holidays we'll be back to face to face scouting but if not I'll see you Tuesday at seven o'clock on you uh, on another live meeting. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'll try and post a few scouting related videos in the uh, holiday as well, um, if I get the chance. Um, I certainly will. Um, 
but I'm not promising anything on that front. Um, okay, guys. Hopefully, see you all not this Tuesday, uh, not a week today, um, but two weeks today. See you soon, guys. Bye.